Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I wanted to talk about, uh, I guess, what Madame Genet said in Episode 4 of The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Season 2. I've been meaning to get to this for like the last week. I've sort of talked about it here and there, but I really wanted to do a video going more in depth on this and talking about, uh, I guess, the Walker origins that uh, I think we have some explanation as to how things have happened, but not entirely. So yeah, before we go any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my Walking Dead content like this. The finale is airing this Sunday, so I will do a breakdown of that episode and then uh, get into all of that and also do a Season 3 video as well because there will be a lot to talk about with Season 3 and I'm excited to see where the story is going to go and how much they're going to tease season three because i know that they're going to talk about dead city most likely that's the next show airing and it seems like a lot of people are excited about that show which is good but for season three of daryl dixon you know it seems like they're going to be going in a totally different direction is there going to be any connections to season two at all we'll have to wait and see what happens in the finale here right so yeah i'll do my breakdowns and everything uh this sunday and then obviously the week after and i guess the next couple of months you know focusing on that the last of us season two dead city season two and whatnot so but i wanted to talk about uh madame Janet and and, uh, what she said in episode four and so I heard this originally and thought okay that's really interesting that they would actually include that in there and again I think it's just because before that Gimple said that there was something here in in season two that adds to the mythology of, of the world and whatnot and so I was like well you know three episodes in I haven't seen anything like that and so uh going into episode four I was like really looking out for it and honestly when I'm watching episode five as well I'm doing the same thing like I'm constantly looking out for or just any sort of clues or any sort of just adding to, I guess, anything with The Walking Dead. And Madame Genet actually said here in her final scene with Carol a reference to, I guess, potentially, it depends on how you interpret it, and we'll talk about that, but I think because of the context that Gimple actually gave beforehand, some of the origins here of the Walker virus. And so in this scene here, we do see Carol and uh, Janae, and they're talking about, you know, I guess, like, it's really come down to this, like, really, like, you're this kind of person, like, it's kind of sad to see you, you know, be like this, basically, you know, like, like Carol's pointing a lot of that out to Madame Janae, and then she starts to say, like, well, you know, the stuff I've seen, the stuff that I've been through, and she talks about a lot of her backstory there's some references to that anyways and she says the monsters they made like she had to witness the monsters they made like kill her partner right and then we saw that in the backstory like we, we actually saw that happen but she said the monsters they made and so when you hear something like that it's like wait what the monsters they made like walkers so like are you saying that somebody created the walkers and so obviously right away you're like well did France create the walkers, right? And that's a big thing that I think everyone is is wondering about right now. And again, it's because Gimple said that beforehand and that there is something here. Like, I really do think that if Gimple never said that, I never really would have noticed this. I mean, people might have pointed it out afterwards, but I wouldn't have noticed this. And so Gimple specifically saying that, I was like, oh, that's really interesting. And so did France create the walkers? That's a really important question. And I will say, you know, just based off of how season two has sort of happened, there's been some disappointment at least for myself personally with Pauvoir and the Super Walker storyline but I think it really was intentional because the Super Walkers that we see Madame Genet create they're not the same as you know the variant Walker that we saw in the World Beyond post credit scene because that World Beyond post credit scene there's so much to that scene that is just so so different than any of the Super Walkers that we saw in season 1 and 2 and I don't know if that was really like intentional but the reason why it's different is because first of all when a Super Walker turns to a Super Walker you know, they're shot with like this serum that, you know, like you have to be a walker, first of all, if you're not a walker and you're already alive, if you're shot with that serum, it's just, it's not going to do anything. You're just going to die. We saw that with Madame Janae. We've seen that with other characters as well. Like, that's just what happens. Like, you have to become a walker first. And then when you're shot with that serum, you turn to the super walker. And so when you go back to the post credit scene, what's very different about all of that is that that woman was alive. She didn't become a walker first. She wasn't shot with a serum afterwards and then turned to the super walker. We didn't see any of that. What happened was she was already alive and then she died. And then, you know, when she came back, she was already a super walker. Like she was already a totally different walker. And what I will say is like, they're very similar in terms of how they act and whatnot. And I do wonder if in terms of Gimple crafting the story overall, if as he was writing all of this, there was something more that he wanted to get into, and so that's why he separated this. Maybe Janae was inspired by what France did originally and some of the walkers that, you know, she heard of, because I think that's sort of the confusion right now, and I think what everyone is wondering about, and that is what was mentioned in the World Beyond post credit scene in terms of, like, experimentation, and there was a conference in Ohio that French scientists were involved in. A lot of people were there, though. Like, I think it was just people around the world. It was some sort of conference that 
happened in Ohio, which is hilarious because it is very close to the Commonwealth. But I think everyone knew that there were variants out there. I think people knew that stuff was happening. I mean, Dr. Jenner, again, like the way he talked about it, I don't think he knew necessarily that, you know, the walkers were created or whatever. I think that he was talking about, oh, I heard that there was a new variant in France or something like that. Like he seems very interested in it, but I think there was a lot more going on. And so I think that scene right there was just more of an Easter egg for us because it was kind of cool to see. And it does show that there was a connection here overall. And so I think that I mean, it depends on when that moment happened as well. You know, that, that definitely was a couple of years into the apocalypse for sure. And I think at some point there will be a connection for sure. I think that this super walker or whatever you want to call this walker here, this very aggressive walker that we saw in the World Beyond post credit scene, that's not the same as the super walkers we're seeing in The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon. It definitely is something very different, though I think could be inspired by the same idea and there still could be a connection there overall. I wish there was more explanation overall. I, I really do. I think that that's sort of an issue with the way that Gimple is running The Walking Dead right now is that there's not enough information given out. Like there's a lot of teases to this, but it's not even really like teases to to this it's like easter eggs that are so small that like you really have to sort of notice everything and like they really don't connect overall to the story and i just think that there should be a lot more here like there really should be a lot more and it doesn't have to be a big part of the story but just some part of the story and honestly even if you made it like a a main part of the story in some sense i think that would be fine like you don't have to make it where Daryl and Carol are trying to find a cure. Like, you don't have to do that. I know that that's something that Gimple most likely won't even want to do, right? Because Gimple also talked about that during Pally Fest, because I watched that whole uh, panel, and he mentions that, you know, the, the running walkers was something that he didn't really want to do at all. And so I think David Sabell really convinced him, which is really good, definitely. I'm very happy about that. And so, yeah, I, I just think that we should get a lot more here. I, I really do. And so going into season three here in terms of are we ever going to get the explanation here, for what happened in the world beyond post credit scene. I hope so. I, like, I really do hope so because in, in terms of where they go next with walkers, you know, I think that they are going to have to keep that element alive. And I think that they are overall with the spinoffs. Actually, I think dead city season two will be kind of interesting to see how they handle a lot of that though. I will say my interest in it isn't really, you know, that crazy anymore because I think I really liked it when there was some sort of, you know, mystery behind it in terms of like, well, who created this? Are we about to find out this or that? And like, is this going to be a bigger story? But season two kind of ruined that a little bit because they really just were sort of a background thing, right? Like a an obstacle in an episode that they sort of had to deal with. And so it really wasn't a bigger part of the story. And so I had a lot of disappointment with that. So I think that, you know, going forward, if I see a scene like that, yes, it would be really cool. But I just hope that it's a bigger part of the story and it's probably not going to be. So we'll have to wait and see where they go next. But I do think that, yes, there will be newer variants and whatnot and i wonder how much we're going to see of that going forward and in terms of you know them going to spain is that gonna mean that you know they're not gonna show us anything else no that's that's not true um spain might also know a lot more about what happened in france right so there might be some references to that so yeah there's a lot that they can do there and i'm really excited about that there's actually one aspect to it that i hope that they bring back in the future because the walking dead has done a lot of things with zombies and i saw this article from forbes actually so full credit to them but there's an article that's titled daryl dixon may have found a walking dead zombie cure and basically the article talks about how in episode five daryl used the super walker uh, serum to create a super walker and use the super walker to uh, i guess get rid of all the walkers around them so imagine if there was like a horde of walkers right like a thousand walkers and you created like what like say 10 to 20 or 50 100 super walkers you could probably use those walkers to get rid of all those walkers right so in a sense you are making more dangerous walkers but you're getting rid of the amount of walkers i guess that are out there i know that that's what the crm was doing anyways in terms of getting rid of walkers though if anything they were using like columns of walkers they called them anyways to wipe out like communities and stuff so maybe that's a little different but you, you know I, I do wonder if they could go in a direction like that in terms of a cure right like using walkers as like a weapon in a sense but then again like having those super walkers out there that's, that's very very dangerous and so i don't know if, if they would actually ever do that but it is really interesting you know it was just one scene and uh yeah i read that article and i was like oh that's really really fascinating i really wonder if they, they could do something like that so yeah go and check out that article if you want more details and all of that um but definitely let me know your thoughts down below on do you think we learned the origin of the walker virus in episode four of the walking dead daryl dixon season two or was that just sort of a a belief i guess of madame Janae's? like she believes that they did but maybe it's not not necessarily true post all your thoughts down below hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one